village it was customary for a medium to offer a cup of wine during the marriage rites according to tradition presenting the cup of wine to a man signifies her acceptance of him as her husband Ola had no choice but to offer the wine to chief Amadi. however as she was about to kneel before him and present the cup to chief Amadi, something unexpected occurred stop a voice yelled out bringing silence to the crowd. Ola was briefly frozen. She recognized her voice. It was the same one she had been dreaming of for the past two days. Everyone, including Ola, turned towards the source of the voice. Curious to know who dared to interrupt the traditional marriage of the village's most powerful man. Meanwhile, Ola hoped to see her friend, the good, who had suddenly disappeared. Instead, she was met with the sight of a very handsome man dressed in nobility. He smiled and walked towards Ola. At first, Ola couldn't place the identity of the man, but as he drew nearer and she saw his face clearly, she was stunned by those familiar eyes. She knew them well. They had always captivated her whenever she looked into them. Good, Ola murmured in disbelief. How is this possible? The handsome man smiled mind and address the crowd. I know all of you have questions about who I am and why I stopped the traditional marriage. Let me introduce myself. My name is Prince Afam from the Ijeogu Kingdom. Everyone was shocked, wondering what a prince of such a powerful kingdom was doing in their small village. Prince Afam then shared his story. Prince Afam was born extremely handsome with captivating eyes and melodic Voice. His father, the king, was the richest and most powerful man in the kingdom. Prince Afam had everything he needed at his fingertips. His striking looks caught the eyes of all the medians in his kingdom. They all dreamed of being his bride, but Prince Afam was not interested in any of them. He was an arrogant and prideful prince who believed he was above everyone. In his mind, no man was worthy of being his wife. He saw himself as a god walking among mortals and with his mindset, he treated his people poorly, not showing them the respect they deserved. Because he was a prince of a powerful kingdom, many people wanted to befriend him by bringing him different types of gifts, but he never accepted any of their friendships. He never appreciated people who worked for him and never said thank you to anyone. One fateful afternoon, Prince Afam was turning around his kingdom with his lads when a median bumped into him. Prince Afam was so angry that he ordered his guards to beat her up because what he hated most was making physical contact with anybody, especially commoners who he regarded as good. The median's grandmother, waiting for her granddaughter's return, saw what was happening. He rushed over, pleading with the prince to have mercy on her granddaughter, explaining that she was blind and didn't see him pass. Instead, the prince angrily replied to the woman's plea, you both hug. If you can't take care of this good, then keep her at home, and ordered his guests to draw them out of his way. The old woman and her blind daughter were thrown into a bush. Had broken, the old woman, with sadness in her heart, said a word that changed the prince's life from that day. May you be forever cursed with the horns of arrogance, condemned to roam as a good until empathy softens your heart. May you find sweetness only when someone loves you for your true self, not for your riches. Unknown to Prince Afan, he disregarded the implication of the woman's words and walked away. The next day, when he woke up, he was horrified to discover himself in the center of the forest not in human form but as a goat. Confused, he wondered what's going on. Why do I look like a goat? Then he remembered the old woman he met and her angry words. Remorseful for his actions, Prince Afam tried to find the old woman and ask for forgiveness. 
but he noticed that no one understood him. They all viewed him as an ordinary good, and this pain made him understand the suffering he had inflicted on his people. He vowed to right his wrongs if ever given the opportunity. Prince Afan began roaming the streets, scavenging leftovers from waste being because he couldn't bring himself to eat grass. One fateful morning, as he wandered the streets, good sinners captured him. Despite his pleas to be released because he was a human, they ignored him, hearing only the cries of a cult. They took him to the market where he was sold to Ola's slaughter. When Prince Afa met Ola, her kindness and compassion helped him understand the importance of treating others with respect. His joy knew no bounds when he realized that Ola could understand him. For the first time in two years, Prince Afa was now able to communicate with a human being. Ola's act of kindness made Prince Afa realize that that he was the one unworthy of others, not the other way around. With each passing moment they spent together, Prince Afam realized that he had fallen deeply in love with honor. Still, still, he could not confess his love to her because he was afraid of scaring her away. Until the faithful day, when Paula wished he could magically turn into a human being so that she could escape with him and become his bride. What Paula did not know was that when she left that day after her thoughts of the good becoming human, Prince Alpha miraculously transformed back into a human being. Because he wore no clothes, he had to sneak out that night and return to his kingdom where they had been looking for him for the past two years. After narrating the whole story, everyone was shocked by what they had. Prince Afam confessed to Ola his desire to marry her and Ola happily accepted. Prince Afam married Ola and took her to his kingdom. After the demise of his father, Prince Afam became the next king and ruled with wisdom and compassion. He earned the title of the best king and won the love of his subjects and so my dear friends treat others with kindness and respect regardless of their status or appearance true love and happiness come from understanding and caring not worth or social status thank you for watching subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to drop your comments below bye